marketing your property on Instagram poses a completely different ballgame as opposed to Facebook and Twitter. Instagram is one of the most efficient lead generating tools that estate agents can use today thanks to the fact that Instagram was made to help you showcase images in a beautiful way. Also, Instagram has a proven track record of giving its users 10 times more engagement than other social media platforms. These facts should not be ignored. This is a follow-up video we did on how to market your property listings with Facebook. We recommend you first watch that video before you watch this one as some of the tips in that video can apply to Instagram too. And to avoid repetition, we leave out some points in this video that you can find in the previous video. The link is in the description below. So how exactly do you get the best out of Instagram for your property listings? Well, I'm glad you asked. Using a personal Instagram account is always a good start because people come to your page to see not only your listings but who you are and whether or not you are someone they can trust and would like to work with. Don't sell too much. This is where the 80-20 rule comes in, in giving your followers a snippet into who you are and what your personality is like. Your real estate Instagram account should be diverse and not full of sales posts. While it's important to show your listings and try to sell them, not all of your followers are looking to purchase. They may want to follow you for design inspiration, real estate tips or local advice. Just update your profile description to include that you are a real estate agent along with your personal interests and hobbies. The power of Instagram is not just the visuals, but also about targeted ads. To take advantage of this, you can turn your personal Instagram account into a business account. But let's talk about this a little bit more. It's always advisable to avoid posting and commenting about things that are most likely to offend your followers. So stay away from controversies, religion and politics. Clients come from all backgrounds, religions and political views, so you want them to feel comfortable connecting with you. If you feel these are topics you will not be able to stay away from, it's best to have a separate business Instagram account and set your personal account to private so that it's only viewable to those you invite into your circle. Okay, now let's talk about the photos. These days, you don't need expensive camera gear or a professional photographer to have quality photos. Your smartphone does the trick. So be sure to 1. Stay consistent with quality photos. Avoid blurry pictures. Avoid dark pictures. Always clean and clear the cluster in your room before you take photos. Clear the kitchen counters. Clear the dishes. Close the toilet lid. Put away clothes. Fluff up the pillows and so on and so forth and stuff like that. Take your pictures by holding your phone in landscape mode. Never use stock photos. If people have seen this photo somewhere else before, they'll become suspicious of you or your company. Stock photos always just have a certain vibe. They can make your account look posed or fake. You want your real estate Instagram to be unique and it won't be if it's littered with stock photos. Okay, so let's speak about video now. We strongly recommend that you upload videos and make use of your Instagram stories. The Instagram time limit for videos is 3 to 60 seconds, so get creative with it. There are so many ways to use video and stories. You can showcase your property, go live at the property on open day, or show off the neighborhood. Now as far as hashtags are concerned, hashtags are extremely important on Instagram as they allow people to find your posts in the search bar. Without hashtags in your posts, nobody will ever stumble upon your content. Thus, it is recommended to use at least 10 hashtags per post to increase engagement. And finally, don't give up on your account. It takes time to build an audience on Instagram. Don't get discouraged if it's taking a while to grow your followers. Having said that, if you are not generating any likes or followers, it may be time to switch up your strategy and apply the tips we have given you. In time, you will find the kind of posts, hashtags and post frequency that appeals to the audience you want. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on social media. Also, let us know in the comment section below anything we might have left out. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video.